<laughs> Are you still at it? Don't overdo it, will you, Lucian? I'm not stopping till I've mastered Cloudburst. I've still got a long way to go, you know. I have to do my bit, protect my homeland, defend the people of Bellicosia. The order has been given. We are to invade Rubicon on the Halcyon border. We march on the morrow. The town harbors a sage who must be eliminated. Spare no one, women and children included. An invasion? Women and children? Why? Why must we go that far? This is wrong. This is not why I studied magic. This is all wrong. <laughs> you must get away from here. Gods, please let me save someone. I'm scared. Here, take this. It will protect you, I promise. Now you must flee from here. I'll, I'll try. Gaze upon the scene before you. You know what it signifies, I trust. But why? Why do this? My village! Everyone's homes! Why? This is your punishment. You made no attempt to engage the enemy, disobeying direct orders. Worse, you let the sage's daughter escape. I need hardly add that she would have proven a most useful pawn in this war. The sage's daughter? You mean... you mean that girl was... Oh, don't you worry. We'll get her soon. <laughs> Damn you! What I did... Was it wrong? Was it my fault? Was it my fault they were killed? Idiot! You couldn't even save one soul to life. You know full well that girl is dead already. What the hell is the point? Why did I even try? There's no good in this world. Only despair. Embrace your despair. For when despair devours the heart, it gives birth to the power of hatred. It is despair that will overwhelm this world. You are the executor, charged with bringing destruction to this world. I dub you the Dark Jinn. I'm not dreaming this, am I? But what about Shadar? He could still be here. No, he's not. Huh? Shadar, he's gone. What? But... He wanted to protect the world. He could have fooled me. It's true. I saw into Shadar's heart. I saw it all. Shadar, no. I mean, Lucian. The truth is...
Mr. Drippy, where are you? Oliver. <gasps> Mom? You've grown so much, Oliver. Mom! I know you'll be fine now. You don't need me to look after you anymore. This is a pendant someone gave me a long time ago. I know. I want you to have it. Don't cry now, Oliver. It's going to be all right. I'm so proud of you, my beautiful son. Goodbye. Thank you. Yeah. Oliver! Oi! Oli boy! What are you doing? Had a nice nap. You're all here. Where else would we be? You just collapsed all of a sudden. We were worried. S sorry. Get a load of that. <gasps> it's so beautiful. It's like everything's awoken from a long sleep. Ah, in it. So our tale's at an end. Mom, you gave me the greatest gift of all. My life. Right, you lot. What's next? Let's go see what's going on in the world. Yeah, things should be back to normal now, eh? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Tidy <laughs> oh, <laughs> And that was the story of the Dark Gym. In the beginning, Shadaro wanted to protect the world. And in the end, his dream came true. It's over, Lucian. That's right. Isn't it, Mom? Hermana, hermana, look! Look at the big house! It's a castle, Amanito! And look! What is that? Look how the water pours from it! Wait for me! <laughs> well, I've done my preparations for the display. Suppose you've been sat on your backside, Roman. Oh, you got some cheek. Don't you worry, I've got everything under control. But you've been sitting down all morning, and you reckon you've set up all your fireworks? That's right. Now, let's show this town what we've got, Catherine. Time to start this party with a bang! <laughs> you me out to stay. The celebrations are about to commence. Ah, yes, but one cannot cut corners when it comes to grooming, honestly. It will only take one moment. But there's no time, me out to stay. A moment, one said. One simply must clean one's ears. Mm. Yes. Huh? Where did one's royal ear clean up? Ear cleaner? Um, but you're me out to stay. <laughs> King Igory, hurry up! Calm down, you little pipsqueak! I'm still black and blue after battling you know who! Don't worry! King Dog's sure to call a ceasefire today! Yeah! Come yeah. and get it, you mate! Doesn't that nice. brat know I'm royalty? <laughs> Dad! Run! It's a proper party! Ho oh, ho! Just like home! This is what Shadar wanted, isn't it? To see the world at peace. Well, so Oliver tells us. I bet he's up there watching now. Him and you and Mom. Yeah. I just know they are. Now, I wonder if the Cowley from Marcusan have arrived yet. Well, they're busy people. There's still plenty of time. Which means we've got time to enjoy ourselves, am I right, Dolly Boy? Yeah.
So, farewell. Yes. Thanks for everything, Your Majesty. <laughs> so it's the end of our double act, is it? You made one heck of a sidekick, Ollie boy. When you get home, you'll look out for Myrtle, won't you? Hey, come back and visit you here. We'll go somewhere dangerous, for old time's sake. You got it. Thank you, everybody. Be good, Oliver. Uh, but not too good. See you next time our world's in a potch. Take care, all of you. Thank you. Farewell, Oliver. An end to huh? pain. Huh? What's that? What did you do, Oliver? Nothing, I promise. Pitiful fools. My gift of manner will cleanse your tainted souls. This stuff? What? What is it? Snow? But it isn't cold. Come with me! Far, far away! 